Et salut à tous, on se retrouve aujourd'hui pour un nouvel épisode et surtout pour une nouvelle série sur le jeu Oxenfree. Alors c'est un jeu qui nous est proposé par Night School Studio qui est sorti en janvier 2016 mais si je vous en parle aujourd'hui c'est parce qu'il est disponible gratuitement sur Epic Games en ce moment. C'est un jeu type aventure, on est sur de la 2D en vue de côté mais les personnages eux sont en 3D. Donc ça rend un effet plutôt sympathique je trouve. On est sur une ambiance assez sombre, assez mystérieuse, c'est une ambiance, euh, comment dire, on n'est pas sur du screamer ou de l'horreur, mais on a quand même euh, des personnages qui sont possédés, on a des fantômes, on a... Bah, en fait c'est très centré sur les fantômes. Il s'avère que c'est un jeu qui est très très euh, scénarisé. Tout tourne autour du scénario et ça induit aussi que les personnages parlent beaucoup pour développer l'histoire, pour euh, développer leur histoire aussi. Et de ce fait, je vais avoir du mal à beaucoup parler durant la vidéo. Ça va surtout être le cas au début du jeu, où il y a beaucoup beaucoup de dialogues. Par la suite, ça devient un peu plus light, on a moins de personnages en même temps, moins de lignes de dialogue, et on a même parfois des moments où personne ne parle et où je pourrais intervenir. Donc ça va vous donner deux expériences de vidéo. Une où vous allez avoir principalement le contenu du jeu, et une autre où je pourrais faire du commentaire par-dessus. It used to be a military base. Well, it used to be a ranching thing, then it was turned into an army thing, then it became a bird thing and a museum or whatever. Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit. Unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, this little breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man, those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. Alex? Hey, still with us? You haven't said anything... I can watch the hypnotic rolling of the waves and listen to you at the same time. Oh, okay. What did I say? Little Miss, I can see and hear things at the same time. Something, something, cookies or whatever. Perfect. You're right on the money. So you all moved in? Um, not, not really. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom meet your dad exactly? <laughs> They met on vacation in Orlando. He got lost in a, you know, actually, I'm not even going to tell this story. It's really not worth it. Uh, yes, please don't. Let's not relive their meet cute any more than we have to. And you guys just met tonight? Yeah, I was, um... I'd been out of school, and the timing had just never worked out, so... And what? Does that make you to her, then? Hey, hey uh, there's an old cousin? ship's wheel up here. It's a replica from a Portuguese caravel, it says? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think the Portuguese discovered the island. I don't know. I mostly slept through the maritime portion of history class. But to be clear, you two are what to each other? I think you're overthinking it. He's my stepbrother. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot that was even a thing. Uh, who's the... Who's driving this? That's Sea Captain Karen. She's doing us a favor. You'll notice we're the only ones doing the voyage. How you doing up there, Karen? Yeah, I um, did notice that. It's a little hush-hush, but she's dropping us off and then doing a uh, miscount on the way back so we can spend the night. Well, at least you seem cool, right? Cool guy, cool hat. You get a cool new sibling living right in your house, sharing your toothbrush. Wait. Yeah, sure, whatever. I have someone to reach the food on the top shelf now. Just happy to be on the team. So, how do you two know each other? Oh, from way back when, like Paleozoic. Grade school era. Young enough that I've seen her in a bathtub and it wasn't sexual at all. I mean, we both looked like little skinned... Ah! Ren, why are you even talking about this? It's humorous, right? It's just interesting. I think it's interesting. Check under your seat to make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. Uh, so, how do you It's a recording. They always play. Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. All of us. This will be like the before show. Why? Shouldn't we wait until we get there, or at least meet up with the others? No, no, no. This is the core unit anyway. The rest are like our guest stars. And it's Jonas? Not Jonah? Yeah, Jonas. Like Jonas Salk? Right, patient zero, AIDS guy. It's, um, biblical, right? Or is that the lion guy? I think every name's biblical, so... 
Probably. Here's good. There, great. I'll magic erase all the warts out and stuff, so don't worry. Hey, Alex, you brought the radio, right? The little portable one? Yeah, of course. Perfect. Can you pull it out a second? There's the little guy. Our high school has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. She's filling in because Reggie got mono from some track runner or something. It doesn't matter. What matters is that she's going to say something like, basically, right now, about our thing. So tune it to 88.3 so I can tell her we heard it. Training staff would repeatedly... It's, uh, to the... Which I played because that song's been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. But, oh, oh, actually, it's a little after 10 o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and his buddies are probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach or whatever we call it now. But anyways, I promised him that I'd play a song from his band, so hope you're listening, Ren. Here are the red-headed bedwetters with baby carrots. <laughs> That's awesome. I hope Christina, with her talent show judge face, was listening. We must be getting close. There's no radio reception on the island. I'm glad I got to hear it before it went totally kaput. If we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. Um, no. You'll see. I don't expect too much, but nah, it'll be fun. I won't undercook it. You'll see. Ok, bon, ça démarre euh, tranquillement. On est sur un bateau en direction du Nil avec un pote d'enfance qui s'appelle Ren et notre euh, demi-frère du fait du mariage de notre mère et de son père qui est Jonas. Et ben, on va voir la suite. Smell that clean air, boys and girls. Boy and girl. This ain't city living. <laughs> yeah, um, anybody need a smoke? I have a full pack. Uh, oh, uh, no thanks. I mean, I literally just said the clean air thing, so... Alex, you can bum one off me if you're empty. Oh, uh, no thanks. I don't smoke. Last time I had one, it didn't go well. Yeah, no, I didn't know what coughing with your whole body meant until I saw you dry heaving. <laughs> okay, just checking. All right, my other friend should be up and around the bend. Actually, that... I mean, I don't mean to be the guy to break us up already, but Ren, can you do me a favor? Can I have, like, two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? And you can, you know, you can run up and... Wait, is, is something wrong? What is it? Nothing's wrong, nothing's wrong. It'll just take two minutes, super fast. All right, bud. <laughs> uh, look, I, I don't want to go up by myself. I mean, can't we just stick together? You're going to have all night to say, like, whatever. But since you want to meet up with your friends anyway... No, it's, it's fine, Ren. Go on up ahead and we'll catch up with you. Um, okay, I guess. Though this is a really strange way to start off, splitting up. It'll be fast. Thanks, man. I'll just be up the hill, in case... whatever. Ren seems nice. He's funny, you know? Yeah, I mean, he's harmless. But, yeah, he's nice. Listen, I just wanted to grab you ahead of time and say you've been cool about everything. And I guess it's just for me, I, I, I've never moved anywhere. And, like, getting a new family at the same time kind of feels like I'm skipping the training wheels. And not that it's been bad or anything. You and your mom have been great. Uh, we'll make do. Lemons. Lemonade. However that goes. An optimist. Oh, Christ. <laughs> yeah. I'm an optimist. And proud of it. Oh, and thanks for setting up the attic for me. It's cool how it's like a little bedroom. Yeah, no problem. Anytime. I heard about your mom. I'm sorry. Yeah, you know... What are you gonna do? We can catch back up with Ren now. I didn't mean to take so long. When the flag is flying, we are... funning. Um, I think it's supposed to say running. Oh. It's kind of kitschy, right? It's kind of kitschy? Yeah, it's like a quiche. 
pour l'instant c'est surtout de la balade, je vais essayer d'interagir un petit peu avec les éléments que je croise, on verra ce que ça donne. Ah, I forgot this was even here. It's a monument to some submarine that was sunk off the coast. Oh, do the the um the radio guide thing they talked about on the boat, you know? It's what? Like 102.3? Uh, okay, sure. I think they said it's 102.3. Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea, the USS Kanaloa was launched on January 15, 1941, and commissioned into service at the end of that year. I've never heard of this before. Yeah. Blackman. I hate thinking about it. It reminds me of those scenes in movies where the sailors have to seal somebody up to drown or else the flooding will take the whole ship, you know? Yeah, no, I always thought submarine duty was like the worst possible war assignment. There's nowhere to go if something goes wrong. Parks and Facilities Office. Ren's sister Allison used to work there. You'd like her. She's tall. Um, all right. Close up early. I guess no point in staying open if nobody's here. That's true. Hello, kids. Look, the other guys and gals must be further up, so be quick now. Okay, speed read definition of Edwards Island. This is a tourist trap with shops and a beach. Nobody lives here except for some geriatric named Mrs. Adler. But, as God is my witness, we'll never mention her or any other old person's name again. We are here to drink and be stupid, a tradition apparently started by bored recruits in the 1950s who would sneak dates over from the coastal towns. They literally called it trawling. Wait. The beaten path officially ends here. The beach is past the fence. I think Jerry told me that there's a way that you used to get over there, but I'm blanking on what it was. But it's not, I mean, it can't be too difficult. Well, look, there must be something. I mean, if Jerry got over. Yeah, exactly. So, to summarize, we are not allowed here after dark. The town is shut down, and we, the Kamina High junior class, have come to commit improper acts. And the other thing is the weirdo caves. Weirdo. I think the dumpster will get us over if it'll budge. Well, let's try it. Anyways, the town's use keep the whole slink over and camp thing alive and well. No, 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 I, um, I, I got it. Uh, yeah, isn't this supposed to be like a giant, swarming, animal mask-wearing freakout? Where's everybody else? Jesus, Alex, it's just supposed to be like a somewhat oversized kegger, and I think more people are coming. And the other thing is the weirdo caves. Weirdo caves? The whole reason Alex brought her radio is because when you go to the... It's like the front. The mouth. The mouth of this particular cave, you can sometimes pick up frequencies to stations that don't exist. You'll hear voices, or just... It's, um, it's pretty creepy. At least I've heard. I did it once. It's amazing when it works. So, back up a second. Who's Mrs. Adler? Her family, I think, like, owns or owns some of the island or something. She's been shacked in the same spot for, like, 70 years. She's kind of what you call the local legend. She has... Damn. That woman won the life lottery. 70 years of sleeping with the window open and smelling the ocean. You'd be okay with never leaving. Never leaving. Just there. All the time. Well, if it's on an island, then yeah. Monkey butlers, lobster wives. It's the dream. Oh yeah, what was I thinking? Lobster wives. It's the dream. Jonas, did you know that a little birdie told me that our Alex here is thinking of going out of state to college? Oh, really? Yeah, so... And did this little birdie tell everyone he did Susie Lyons even though it was only over the pants stuff? Uh... Huh. Just because Mark spends his study hall at the advisory board doesn't mean he's allowed to look through our submissions. Look, Alex, I just... If you are thinking of leaving, I just hope you're doing it for the right reasons. That's all. That's my whole spiel. What the hell does that mean? Nothing, nothing, nothing at all. Do what you want, forget I said anything. Ren, why do you even care about this? Oh, I don't know, maybe because you're my friend? And I'll miss you if you go, that's what a friend does. They miss the other person. And I don't want you to regret anything. So, yeah, never mind. Oh, Ren, you big knucklehead. I'd miss you too, okay? But for now, I'm not gone yet, and who knows what I'm gonna do, so... All right, all right. Oh, you two are like kittens in a paper sack. Ugh, 
What is that? It's a saying. No, it isn't. <laughs> Eh bien, dis donc, ça parle, hein. mais je vous avais prévenu. En tout cas, tout ce qui se dit, c'est assez intéressant. Ça nous permet de connaître un peu mieux les personnages, de savoir quelles sont les relations entre les uns et les autres. Et ça va être assez important parce que vous avez vu, à chaque dialogue, c'est moi qui choisis ce que je veux dire parmi les bulles qui s'affichent. Et justement, le choix de ces bulles va influer complètement sur la fin du jeu. Et c'est assez important de voir quels sont les liens entre les personnages pour choisir au mieux par rapport à ce, que, ce à quoi on veut euh, arriver à la fin du jeu. Vous comprendrez. Oh, uh, before we get there, I should, I should probably mention that. <rire> oh God. Who's that? That's so. There's this girl, Nona. She's just this girl, and I'm totally into her, and I want her to be into me, so just, you know, j just be cool, okay? No pouting or complaining or anything, all right? Why the wouldn't I? Don't be like, just how you can be sometimes. Oh, and okay, Jonas, now that we're dumpster buddies, what was the thing that you said to Alex back there? Do you have one of those... Reginald, I hear you over there. Hey, guys. Wait, I was saying... I was about to tell a story, what was it? About Brad's car? Oh, well... That can wait. Hey. We started a fire down the way, but Nona wanted to play beach nanny, so... Uh, yeah. Hi. Hi. And Jonas, that's... Who are you? Jonas. That's Jonas. He's Alex's new in town, fresh as the daisy stepbrother. Stepbrother? Really? Yeah, I know. Yeah, you'd think he'd be a little old to need a babysitter, but here we are. <laughs> yeah. If I don't have anyone to burp me, it becomes a real issue. Wait, 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 wait. You're Jonas. Jonas, the stepbrother. Yeah. Um, what's your name again? That is Clarissa. How but are she's... your stepbrother? Like, what does that even mean? Uh, My mom married his dad, so family, law, and all. Yeah, well, I guess this is happening now. This is a thing that is happening, so... <sighs> Where is everyone else? Nicole had that tennis thing. Uh, and... who else was supposed to come? Anyone? Everyone? Clarissa, we... <laughs> we took the last ferry. I thought more would show up, but... <laughs> oh my god, it's just Alex and her new stepbrother? <laughs> That's it. That's who you brought. Clarissa, That... seriously, who even invited you? Uh, I did. Ren invited Nona, and Nona invited me. Though, begged me would maybe be the better way to put it. Uh, I didn't. I didn't really beg. Wait, aren't you all, like, friends? I'm friends with Nona, and I'm downgrading Ren to, like, a creepy neighbor. And you, I just met. Hey! What about me? What about you? Just never mind. You see, Jonas, normally this is like a 20 deep rager, but Pat had a party last weekend and... And a bunch of kids got caught TPing the school. But this is great, right? We're on Edwards Island. Forget those losers who couldn't handle the weekend, who didn't think we could make it, who lost my invitation, who had to go Faster. on their... We've been hearing about this for years, and now we're gonna do it. This is gonna be amazing, right? Right, guys? Yeah, the beach, island stuff. Yeah. Yeah, la plage et tout, et surtout deux nouveaux personnages. On a désormais Clarissa et Nona, ce qui fait que l'équipe est au complet, euh, avec euh, Alex et nous, Jonas, notre demi-frère, Ren, notre ami d'enfance, Nona, euh, qui est une pote de Ren, et Clarissa, qui est une pote de Nona. Ça en fait du monde. Fire. Man's great equalizer. So, what's the, um, what's the, like, thing to do here? Other than obviously go skinny dipping and get murdered by Jason Kruger. Well, I'm up for pretty much whatever, so... Hey, where does that old woman live? Oh, you mean Maggie Adler? Yeah. Nowhere. She's dead. What? Yep, killed over three days ago. It was all over the news. Local news, anyway. Oh, that's sort of a bummer. Yeah, well, we all gotta go sometime, in her case, later than sooner. And to answer your previous question, Jonas, the thing to do is lay on the beach and drink till you can't remember where you are. And sometimes play truth or slap. Yeah, let's play that. We can inaugurate Jonas. Truth or slap? What's that? We used to call it hippo, until we got tired of people asking, why is it called hippo? Because you get to yell, you're a dirty hippo, before you slap someone. You get asked a question. You have to tell the truth, but if somebody can prove that you lied, the accuser gets to slap you. It's a good, uh, getting to know somebody game. Uh, how can you prove that somebody lied? Hearsay, rumor, conjecture, the usual. All right, let's just get on with it. Okay, so, 
first. We're gonna... I'll start. Ren. Uh-huh. Come on, fess up. You want to go out with Nona, right? Clarissa. Clarissa, come on. You're supposed to ask, like, have you ever stole something? Not super weirdo probing stuff. You ask probing stuff if you play the game right, Alex. Look, it's tough to gauge. Uh, something <laughs> like... Enough stalling. I know you want to sample the goods. Now no, just say so. I, I mean, I, I, I like her as a friend, right? That's... I just like her as a friend. That's that's all. She's cool. Let's ease off the throttle for the next one, okay, Clarissa? Yeah. What? This game isn't any fun if you don't get a stomach ache. Okay, it's Ren's turn, right? He gets to ask somebody something. Alex, Alex, Alex! <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, please. Shoot, I can take it. Okay. Mary, screw, kill. Me, Nona, and Clarissa. Why? What? It's fun. It's funny, I don't know. And Jonas is family now, technically, so he's excluded. Well, I think I'd marry you, actually. We know each other the best, so not a lot of surprises there. Perfect. Stay-at-home husband. <laughs> okay, you're going down the line. Who'd you do the dirty with? Nona. She seems like she'd be present and giving, unlike some people here. Hey, I'm present. I wouldn't lose my place or nothing. Scout's on her. Ugh, God, this is such a horrible turn. Which... Of course, means that you'd strangle Clarissa in her sleep if you ever got the chance. What a shocker. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry, it, it just worked out that way, I swear. Yes, I mean, why would you have any control over the words and thoughts coming out of your face? Hey, now, you can't control the sneeze. And I think this falls more in the realm of bodily function. So, Alex's turn? Yep, lady's choice. Alex gets to pick who to ask something of. Oh, great. Here we go. What's your- Uh, Jonas. <laughs> yeah? Tell the truth. How do you really feel about your dad marrying my mom and the fact that we're now de facto organ donors? Well, unless you turn out to be crazier than you look. That'd be hard. I think it's fine. Only known her one night and is already fine with it. What a guy. Is it my question now, then? Yep. Okay, Clarissa, um, last person you made out with. Oh, um, uh, maybe something else. Or, yeah, maybe who's the last person you, uh, hugged and said? Uh, what's the matter? It's an honest question. Oh, will you all relax? I've made out with people since... God. Anyways, um, that would have to be Ryan Fisher, two weeks ago in Iggy's I death. knew it. Yeah, well, he was there, and I was tired. Clarissa's turn now. Alex. You got a new brother. Pretty exciting. I'm sure Jonas is excited, or maybe... Excited isn't the right word. Maybe a little overwhelmed with just everything, you know? Unsure. It's a lot to take in and adjust to. Is there, like, a question coming, or what? I'm just saying what Jonas is already thinking. That statistics show if you get divorced once, you're probably gonna get divorced again. And the fact is, your mom divorced your dad. So, let's put his mind at ease and hear why. Okay, just... Get to whatever point this is getting to. The point is, why'd your parents get a divorce? Just so Jonas can hear it from you. Clarissa, I don't really care why they got a divorce, just that Alex- You know why. Michael died and it broke everything and they couldn't handle it. The end. Well, now you know, Jonas. Don't die and everything will be fine. Okay, Clarissa, you- What? You know, guys, honestly, I think I'm pretty much ready to do anything else besides this game. Wait, let's- Let's not stop like this. We should like- Game's over, Ren. I won. And to celebrate, I'm gonna sit on the beach and drink, and maybe, if I'm feeling spicy, even take a nap. Maybe we could And get... that's exactly what Nona's gonna do, too. Fine. Whatever. Be Miss Pouty on the beach all night if you want. I'm not gonna let you ruin this for me. I appreciate your permission to be pouty. Thank you. Cheese! If you guys in your scavenger hunt, or playing Ring Around the Rosie, happen to find anything more interesting than a slowly dying starfish, you be sure to just let me know. Super. <sighs> Whatever. Well, I want to inaugurate this bitch by checking out the caves. Nona, want to come? Uh, I mean, I would. I'm very but... clingy, Ren. <sighs> Fine. Jonas, you're a strapping young lad. Help boost me over the fence. The cave's just, uh, yonder. And I guess you expect me to just jump over after? Well, like I said, you're a strapping young lad. Okay, come on. Where are you from again? It's a small town near North Valley. Oh yeah, is it nice? If you like bars on the windows.
Alex, you want to check out the caves, or...? Yeah, let's do it. Boost me up? Yeah, come on. Come on, <laughs> I'll push you open. Oh, oh, I forgot. We Whenever you're about ready. God. Oh, what, so, your date? So, the cave. What's your bets? On a scale of 1 to 10, how weird's it gonna be? Hmm, probably a 5. Weird enough to remember, but not weird enough to tell anybody about it after. <laughs> All right. Hey, Chris seems to be her normal annoying self. Sorry about that. Yeah, Ren, about Nona. What? Did she say anything? Because if she said anything, you should tell me. Like, word for word. Maybe you should just give her a little space, you know? Really? I thought you girls liked to be pursued. No, no, we like a challenge. We like something to catch. That's why they call it a catch. Oh, all right. I see where your head's at. Now, who's ready to have their minds blown? If you don't mean that literally, I am... Just get on with it. What do I do? Oh, wait. Actually, I almost forgot. Gonna take a little magic trip to Cupcake Town. Those look like brown... Magic? What does that mean? It means they're enhanced with certain qualities. Hmm. Well, maybe just don't eat too much. No promises. Hmm. Delicious. Okay, so see these little piles of rocks? The kids before us always leave them here so you know where to try and tune in the signals. So you're going to want to stand basically right around here. And just tune the dial left or right until you start hearing some weirdness. Holy crap! Wow, it's even cooler than I thought it would be. This is... What? is it? What's doing it? Maybe the tuning's like unblocking a weather balloon or something? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Well, it's just crazy, then, because I don't know. If you move around, it kind of changes, too, I think. Like, over at this pile. Here, come over here and try it. This is so cool. I know! Clarissa and Nona should see this, right? I mean, I know it's like weird with you guys or whatever for some reason, but they, they're fine where they are. Okay, just what is Clarissa's issue with you two? She dated Michael for five seconds like three years ago. It was for a couple of months a year and a half ago. Whatever, she never liked me, not even then. I was always the little sister who got in the way, who she had to climb in through windows to sneak around. Clarissa's the kind of person who doesn't feel full unless she's pissed at somebody, so... Whew. Brownies are kicking in. Did that make sense? Are you... okay? I think so. Now, there's another cool spot, I think, over here. Sounds so. Yeah, it sounds. Uh. It sounds. like painful. Yeah. Wait, what was that? There's like. This is gonna sound stupid, but there's like something in here. Famous last words. Famous. No, I see it too. I'm sure there is something in there. Like. A giant rabies-filled bat, or a maniac who wears mannequin wigs. Or it kind of looks like a pool or something. Like a freshwater one, maybe. Let's check it out. It's not that far in. <laughs> if it's a pool, that'd be cool. I, um, didn't mean that to rhyme. <laughs> cool pool. Fortune favors the bold. <laughs> Jonas, don't! Well, I am going to just rest against here, because I think... Shh, I think I mismeasured the magic. Yeah, you do that. Do what? Ah! Alors ça y est, vous commencez à avoir peur pour vous, ou pour les personnages? Parce que, oui, clairement, il commence à y avoir des trucs un petit peu surnaturels dans le jeu. Et ça n'est que le début. 
Bon, on est à la fin de l'épisode, un long, long épisode de 30 minutes. J'espère que vous avez apprécié le style, que vous appréciez du coup euh, la série, l'ambiance euh, et surtout le gameplay. Pour ma part, je vous dis à la prochaine pour encore plus d'aventures de surnaturel et d'amusement. Ciao, bye bye